With every revolution that has come about, we've been forced to stop doing things that we thought we were very good at, and we're forced to find other things that we are actually much better at. And this revolution is no different. Our traditional educational systems that focused on logic, um, memorization, analytical skills, repetition, are predominantly left brain um, functions, and those are going to be the first to be automated with um, the fourth industrial revolution. And what skills of the future we need are actually more whole brain functions, like empathy, of course, skills like me being able to attach purpose and value to kind of what you do and do we know how to train those things and it's become clear to us that we don't know and we need to sort of come back to the principles of how do we define these things how can we measure them how do we train for them are we going to be able to change our educational systems our corporate training programs or any human development sort of interventions to develop the right competencies or abilities are we going to be able to build people that can respond to the tasks and challenges that have come that way one of the challenges that we're looking at is around the concept of inclusive entrepreneurship. You have a lot of governments, incubators, um, private companies, all trying to set up ecosystems essentially to cultivate and support entrepreneurship. But we haven't necessarily seen results from these things. And we're working on a framework that allows you to better measure the efficacy of these ecosystems so that when an organization does start these kind of um, entrepreneurship ecosystems, they actually have a benchmark against which to measure themselves, a better understanding of what works, what doesn't work. As technology becomes more pervasive, the more scalable the solutions that we build can be.